Welcome to Codium AI, a tool that allows developers to generate meaningful tests easily and automatically right from the IDE. Today we're going to look at an open source project called Sherlock that is used to hunt down social media accounts by usernames across various social networks. This project supposedly had 100% test coverage, and we're going to figure out what tests are missing for this project, automatically generate them with Codium AI, and at the end, add a PR to the open source project. Let's begin. The open source project Sherlock relies on making a lot of HTTP requests to a predefined list of sites, checking whether a specific username exists on each site or not. Looking at the test code for Sherlock, it's pretty obvious to see that there are two ways in which Sherlock detects whether a username exists or not on the site. First of all, by using a message, i.e. this username does not exist, and second of all, by using a status code, essentially saying via GHTTP response code that the user does not exist on this specific site. However, by looking more carefully at the test suite, it appears that although we have 100% test coverage and every line is covered, not every eventual path of the program is covered, and coming up with new test ideas is a pretty difficult task. This is where Codium AI really does shine. Instead of having to think up all your test ideas from scratch, you can use this tool in order to understand and evaluate what is required to test in this project. It will look inside the main function of this project called Sherlock, and then generate a bunch of tests that you can use in order to improve your testing suite. In addition, if you have your own tests that you want to implement, Codium AI has a functionality called custom test, which we'll get to in a moment, that enables you to implement your own test behaviors. Once the test generation has been completed, you can see there's a bunch of tests that Codium AI has created for our project. Specifically, if you look at the configuration toggles, you can see that you can give Codium AI instructions in the form of specific prompts that tell it how to generate the tests. You can choose the test framework, as this is a Python project, the two main Python testing frameworks exist here, and you can give it reference tests, which the extension will use to model the tests after, and you can also change the number of tests created. And if the little thing that exists inside of this test generation platform is the ability to add a custom change to a test. So if something is missing in a test, for example, please add more social media networks to the test. I can click enter and then the model starts working at modifying the test so that more sites are added to site data. Note that it's taking the same sites that already exist in the site data and trying to figure out how to complete them. There you go. We now have the third site also added to the test. Let's now take a look at the custom test functionality inside Codium AI. We're going to let the AI generate a test for us based on a definition that we will provide. More specifically, we're going to focus on a concurrency test. Max workers is a variable inside of the Sherlock function that enables you to decide how many workers will be spun up to deal with the workload. We're going to test this functionality and then add the test to the test suite of the project as a pull request. There are a lot of things we can do to check for a concurrency, but the easiest thing is to just ask a question. How does the function perform when max worker is set to 6? I will now allow Codium AI to generate this test for me, which will supposedly check the max worker's functionality. Looking at the output, we can see that there are three sites in the site data dictionary. However, the max workers number is set to 6. This is very easily fixable with the ChatGPT-like functionality of Codium AI. Please add three more sites to site data, then hit enter. We can see that six sites have been generated. This matches the six workers in the test definition. Let's run this test to see what happens. When I click Run, Codium AI will run the test in the background. The test is run, it fails immediately. I can look at the failure output itself, but I can also let Codium AI try and figure out exactly what happened for me. After it will finish analyzing the failure, we can see that there are two potential issues here, either a test issue or a code issue. If I look at the test issue, as you probably noticed before, it seems like there's no argument called max workers inside the function. However, Codium AI goes one step further and shows me that we can fix this also inside the code itself by adding the max workers parameters to the code. I'm going to decide to fix the test and not the code. When I do that, Codium AI will automatically fix the test for me. After it's done, I can rerun the test until it passes. Now that we have our test complete, it's probably a good idea to integrate it into the test suite for Sherlock. Let's copy the test and then go into the test suite for Sherlock to look where we can put it in. Looking at the classes here, it doesn't seem like there's a good class for this test. So I'm going to create a new one. Class Sherlock concurrency tests based off of Sherlock based test. In this test, I'm just going to copy paste the test that I already have and then click save. 
Moving over to a new fork of this repository that I created, I have checked out the changes into a branch called concurrency test with Codium. Let's stage all the changes and then commit them to be ready for the pull request. Now that we have the branch ready, we can now push in order to create a pull request. I will add a description for the pull request, adding a new concurrency test generated using Codium AI. We have now completed the full cycle of creating a pull request using a test generated by Codium AI. One final comment. Please note that Codium AI has a PR pull request assistant, which you can use to describe the changes, which will help you create better pull requests. This pull request tool captures the changes you made and suggests what you should put into the PR fields on GitHub. Keep in mind that generating tests this way is a great way to start contributing to an open source project you don't know. Pick one, try and generate a test, and see what the output is in order to better understand the project before your next contribution. In summary, we have created a test using Codium AI for an open source project, made sure that it works correctly within the context of the project, and then created a pull request for this open source project entirely within Visual Studio Code. If you want to learn more about Codium AI, go to codium.ai and get the plugin directly from the website. Thank you for listening.